In prehistoric times, West Asia had an area that was very famous and influential at that time, even still famous and influential today. This area is considered one of the most important places in human history because there were many important discoveries here, such as irrigation systems, writing, and written laws. Apart from that, this region is also the birthplace of early human civilization. Yes, this region is Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is an ancient region located between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, which is now part of Iraq. Because of the region's position between two rivers, the ancient Greek explorers and conquerors who first traversed the region in the 6th century BC came to call this region, Mesopotamia, which means, the land between the rivers. The Mesopotamian civilization is thought to have flourished around 4000 BC, starting with the establishment of several kingdoms and large cities by the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians and Assyrians. These civilizations made many contributions to the development of humans and culture around the world, from writing systems, laws, mathematics, astronomy, and many more. So now, let's talk about the amazing ancient civilizations of the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians in the Mesopotamia region. The first civilizations in Mesopotamia started from the Sumerians. The Sumerian civilization in Mesopotamia is known as one of the oldest civilizations in the world, spanning from around 4000 BC to 2000 BC. Sumer is a region located around the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, which is now part of Iraq. At first Sumer consisted of a number of small cities ruled by kings. These cities were located in arable and arable areas, giving them ample resources to develop. The Sumerian civilization began around 4000 BC, when people settled and developed irrigation systems for agriculture. The Sumerians were one of the first civilizations to develop an advanced system of agriculture, by building complex irrigation canals to irrigate their fields. They are also known as the first nation to discover and use wheels to help make their work and mobility easier. This makes them have advantages in food production and can build large cities. Due to an advanced agricultural system and advances in the trade sector, the Sumerians began to travel for months to several regions, such as Lebanon, Anatolia and India to trade agricultural products. The more often they carried out trading activities, the Sumerians realized that they needed something to support their trading activities. Sumerians began to develop an ancient writing system called cuneiform, which is a system of writing using signs on clay tablets. In addition, the Sumerians also developed a sexagesimal number system. This number system is based on the number 60, which is their base number. This number system allowed the Sumerians to calculate faster and more accurately within a larger number system. They used this number system in comparative calculations and time divisions, as well as in measuring the area of land and the volume of air in their irrigation systems. Apart from the fact that the Sumerians had advances in agriculture, trade and writing systems, belief in religion also became an important part of the culture of the Sumerians. The Sumerians practiced polytheism, that is, the belief in many gods and goddesses that influence human life and activities. Each of the Sumerian cities had its own patron deity, whom the local population worshipped and revered. They also built large temples and performed regular religious ceremonies. These beliefs played an important role in their social, economic and political life, and reflected the Sumerian way of life and worldview. In the Sumerian period, cities such as Uruk, Ur, and Nippur became centers of commerce and culture in Mesopotamia. Sumerian cities also had palaces as the residence of the king and his family as well as administrative centers of government. And of course, they have a market. Trade became one of the main activities in Sumerian cities, with goods such as grain, cloth, and metals being the commodities traded. Apart from the market, they also have production sites such as artisans' quarters and ceramic factories. The Sumerians also built tall and strong city walls to protect them from enemy attacks. However, 
Just like films set in the glory of the kingdoms in the past, there will always be other nations who will come to war to seize cities in all prosperous regions. The Sumerians experienced the same story. Even though the Sumerians had an advanced culture and civilization, they were often involved in conflicts and wars with other tribes in the region. The climax in the 24th century BC, the Akkadians succeeded in defeating the Sumerians and forming the Great Akkadian Empire in Mesopotamia. The beginning of the Akkadian civilization can be traced back to around 2334 BC, when Sargon the Great won the war against the Sumerian city. After that, Sargon the Great took control of many cities in the Mesopotamian region and founded the Akkadian Empire. Akkadia itself is the name of the city center of Akkad, which is located north of the city of Samaria. This city is occupied by the Semitic tribes. They started as one of the tribes that migrated to the Mesopotamia region and settled in the city of Akkad. Some theories suggest that the Semites originated in the Arabian Peninsula, while others suggest that they originated in the area around the Caspian Sea. However, most theories indicate that the Semitic tribes or Akkadians originated in the mountainous region east of Mesopotamia, in what is now Iran. The civilization of the Akkadians experienced rapid development during the reign of Sargon the Great. After successfully uniting the various towns and villages in the Akkad region, Sargon the Great expanded into other areas. He succeeded in conquering the cities of the Sumerian region and founded the Great Akkadian Empire. One of Sargon Agging's greatest accomplishments was the creation of an effective and centralized administrative system. He divided his empire into provinces and appointed governors to rule in each of them. He also created an effective communication network with the delivery of important messages via well-organized couriers. In the field of art and culture, the Akkadian civilization produced many notable works of art and literature. Several works of literature dating from Akkadian times have survived to this day, including the legendary epic Gilgamesh. In the arts, the Akkadian civilization produced beautiful statues and carvings, often depicting important figures from their civilization. In addition, they also developed a cuneiform writing system that was more efficient than the pictographic writing system used by the earlier Sumerian civilization. They also built a lot of infrastructure, such as roads and irrigation, so as to increase agricultural production and trade. However, like the Sumerians, the Akkadian Empire eventually collapsed. The fall of the Akkadians occurred around 2150 BC after standing for more than 200 years. There are several factors that are suspected of causing the collapse, including internal conflicts, attacks by barbarians, climate change, and disease outbreaks. Although no one theory is definitively correct, the collapse had a major impact on the history of Mesopotamia as the region became more fragmented and no single power could rule over the entire region. After the collapse of the Akkadian Empire around 2150 BC, the Mesopotamian region experienced a decline in power and fragmented into various cities and town-states. At first, the Sumerian civilization returned to dominate the region with the founding of several city-states such as Ur, Lagash, and Uruk. However, around 1894 BC, a city called Babylon began to emerge as a new power in the Mesopotamia region. At first, Babylonia was ruled by a small number of competing cities. However, Babylon began to emerge as the dominant political force in the region. King Hammurabi, a ruler of the city of Babylon, succeeded in creating several cities and small states around them to shape the destruction of Babylon. One of Hammurabi's greatest wallets was the creation of the Hammurabi Code, a code of laws that is well known to this day. This code consisted of 282 articles that established laws and sanctions for violations committed by Babylonian citizens. The Code of Hammurabi is considered one of the oldest surviving legal documents and provides valuable information about the legal system and social values of the time. The Babylonian civilization also had important interests in astronomy and mathematics. They have created the first star catalog known as the Mull. 
APIN Star Catalog, which contains detailed descriptions of the positions of the stars and their movements in the sky. They also maintained and developed the Base 60 numeral system, which is still used in measuring time and angles today. The Babylonian civilization was also known for its success in managing complex irrigation systems, which enabled them to produce fertile agriculture and increase the welfare of their population. They also developed brick-making techniques and the use of brickwork as a durable and malleable building material. Later, the Babylonian civilization was also famous for its ability to establish trade and trade relations with other countries in the Near East, such as Egypt, Persia and India. They also succeeded in creating an effective system of correspondence and messaging, which allowed them to communicate with other countries quickly and easily. However, just like the Sumerians and Akkadians, the Babylonian Empire also fell. After the leadership of Hammurabi, the Babylonian Empire experienced a decline. And, in the 7th century BCE, the Babylonian Empire was conquered by the Assyrian Empire, which ruled over Mesopotamia for the next several centuries. The Assyrian civilization was also an important civilization in the Mesopotamia region. The Assyrians came from the northern region of Mesopotamia, then known as Assyria. They lived in a dry and arid region, but were able to develop a strong and influential civilization. The Assyrian civilization flourished around the 25th century BC, and became a major power in the 14th century BC. Until the 7th century BC, the Assyrian Empire succeeded in conquering the Babylonian Empire. The Assyrian Empire experienced its heyday during the reigns of kings like Sennacherib, Ashurbanipal, and Ashur Ethel Alani. They expanded their territory to cover most of the Middle East at that time, including Mesopotamia, the Levant, and Egypt. The Assyrian civilization also reached its peak at that time. During this period, they had a well-organized system of government, with the king as supreme leader and governors in charge of specific territories. In addition, they also have a strong and organized military. They continued to develop warfare technologies such as iron body armor, fireballs and explosive devices. In war, Assyria was known to be ruthless and brutal with total annihilation tactics including massacring the civilian population and ravaging captured cities. Assyria's military power managed to conquer many kingdoms and countries around it. The Assyrians were also famous for their art and architecture. They created huge statues depicting kings and gods, as well as magnificent palaces and temples. They also possessed an advanced writing system, known as the Assyrian cuneiform script, which was used to write historical and religious records. However, although the Assyrians reached their peak during this period, their power began to decline in the 6th century BC. They suffered a series of defeats at the hands of rebellious nations, including the Babylonians, Medes, and Persians. Ultimately, the Assyrian Empire fell in 609 BC after being destroyed by a coalition of nations led by Babylon. So, in the history of Mesopotamia, the Sumerian civilization is the oldest civilization that created many inventions and innovations, such as cuneiform writing and irrigation systems. Later, the Akkadian civilization emerged after the Sumerians and was known as a very powerful military force. Babylon became the center of civilization after the Akkadians and was famous for the famous laws of Hammurabi. Lastly, the Assyrian Empire became the largest military power and succeeded in conquering many of the surrounding kingdoms and countries. Although these civilizations differed in their histories and cultures, they all made important contributions to the development of humans and civilization in the Mesopotamia region. In conclusion, the Mesopotamian civilization has made many important contributions to the modern world. Nations such as the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians created the technologies, political systems, and art that were influential in human history. They also showed strength and brutality in war, 
but at the same time made progress in commerce, agriculture and the development of writing. We can learn a lot from the history of Mesopotamia and how this ancient civilization has influenced our world today. Hopefully this video can add to your knowledge about the Mesopotamian civilization. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.